coastline traffic crunch after a falling power pole shut down PCH just as thousands of surfers and spectators arrived for the high surf. Hello everyone, I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Elsa Ramon. Well, a few lanes of PCH have now reopened after a complete closure for much of the day. A power pole fell sometime before 8 this morning, shutting down the highway for four miles from Latigo Canyon Road to John Tyler Drive. CBS 2's Art Barron is live in Malibu where they've had power pole problems before. Art. Absolutely. Now, the traffic problems began around 8 o'clock this morning right here on PCH. All the problems are right behind me. But right now, let's go to aerial view. This is from Chopper 2, taken within the hour. And we're right above PCH and Corral Canyon Road. The top part of a power pole was charred and then cracked. It fell down. This afternoon, crews removed debris and a wire in the road, then opened a lane in each direction of PCH. But when word of the damaged power pole got out, a four-mile stretch of PCH, PCH was closed for a good part of the day. It's a pain in the neck, but I was down here earlier. It was dead stop, and now at least we're moving. It looks like we'll get through this. This cracked power pole and dangling power lines created a traffic nightmare on Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu as beachgoers flocked to the coast to escape the heat and enjoy the big surf. I hope I could get through it real quick because I got a long way to go. Like I a wooden power pole cracked and fell on PCH at Corral Canyon Road. Southern California Edison said it left nearly 245 homes and businesses without power, including Ellen Rosenberry, who wanted to see for herself what happened. When I made it down, all of the transformers were still up on the pole, but about 45 minutes afterwards, they all fell, and they just fell, and luckily no one was underneath them. One sheriff's deputy said the pole simply failed. A crane is temporarily holding up this phone line. Westbound traffic was turned around at John Tyler Drive and eastbound traffic turned around at Latigo Canyon Road. Others in traffic on PCH actually didn't mind the slowdown. It's beautiful. Yeah. We can get a chance to relax for a change. So you don't mind being in the traffic? Beats the five any day, twice on Sunday. Some drivers like the ones on Canaan Doom Road avoided the four mile closure on PCH by taking a 30 mile mountainous detour. Southern California Edison has begun a multi-million dollar upgrade of wooden poles as part of a settlement resulting from a wooden pole on Malibu Canyon Road. State investigators say that pole blew over during high winds in October of 2007 and ignited the Malibu Canyon fire that burned all the way down to the beach. At around 2.45 this afternoon, crews made progress and cleared a down wire on PCH. Southern California Edison tells me it really has no estimate at this time as to when power will be restored. But the good news is no one was hurt when all the problems began this morning. That's the very latest. We're live in Malibu. Art Barron, CBS 2 News.